This Elmo is beautiful. So, so. No, no. Start, swipe, lift. It auto spaces. You don't need to hit the space. This, this, this is going to be good, or just start sense. simple. The so, well, no need for rumble. Right? Can I ask you a question? Yes. All right. So I'll try. I'm using your mic, trying to talk to it. Um, I noticed it was slower on the phone. Obviously, how much yes. processing power do you need? The oh, question was, a, how much uh, processing power do you need? I'll let Cliff answer that one. Uh, the algorithm tunes itself to what the processing speed is, so the average response is about a quarter of a second. It can cast a big net or a small net without the first pass. But it keeps looking until it finds the word. Do you have the mic? It's been running on All right. So we need, uh, we need mics here, right? Walking <laughs> mics. OK, we got one. Jason's got it. Since so we've all abandoned our, uh, our, our positions here, that must say something about these guys. Um, so, so far, you're not beating Hunt and Peck. How long does it take to get up to speed, would you say? We find users easily hitting 40 words per minute in a couple of days. OK. So you don't imagine uh, people having swipe classes in uh, swiping classes in high school, right? <laughs> no, no, Evan's next. No, we love to have people instantly start with it, uh, but again, with that advanced user interface, uh, with a little, a little additional effort, you'll learn to be incredibly functional. We yeah. only showed you probably 10% of what we can actually do with this product. By the way, I love that you said something right from the get-go. You, you said, here's our business model. We, you know, we want to do OEM licensing. You know, it's like, wow, I didn't have to ask. That's great. <laughs> yeah, fabulous. So, let's see. All right, I'm going to try it now, too. Okay, somebody else get the mic. So, uh, Evan, what did you think of it? It was great. It was mindless. It's nice. Where the letters are. Josh, what do you think? I thought it, I thought it was good. I, how well does it, I mean, it seemed to work much better with a stylus than when you tried it with the finger. Does it, you know, will it really work without a stylus and the, with the keys at the same size? What you, what you need? What you need is an appropriate hardware keyboard technology, a hardware uh, touchscreen technology. So a capacitive screen like on the iPhone, it's going to be a nice, light, easy touch and reliable contact, and it'll work super on the, on the right kind of screen. Uh, on a screen that's designed for a stylus, of course it's going to work better with a stylus, but uh, I did show it despite my demo. It did work on the uh, phone. And um, how about like for some of the scientific characters or like shifting and stuff like that? Because it seems pretty easy when you're typing a simple word, hello, but I noticed when he started going to numbers, that seemed to be a big uh, hurdle, or at least, Josh, it took like a couple of seconds for you to adjust. Just the first time, it took me a little while to figure out where the toggle was, but it seemed pretty intuitive. I'm shilling for you, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Jason. Yep. I have one question. Oh, oh, yeah. hey. Oh, hey, Om. How you doing over there? It's like there's other people. Can we get you a drink? Anything yeah. Yeah, please, if you can, while you're at it. Yeah. So, guys, one question I have for you is you're saying you have an OEM model. What the f yes. You have an OEM model, uh, yeah, right. but the OEMs, especially, you know, phone companies are notorious about doing licensing deals and they're pretty stringent.